Hey there everyone, in this video it's a little bit different. Um, we're not going to talk about tanks as much, but um, we're going to have a look at um, our servo board. Now servo is a very small board as you can see here, and as its name would suggest as the Bogan drives past, servo is used for controlling a servo. Now it doesn't just do one function, okay? Um, when you order servo, um, you can order a variant, and depending on what variant you get is what, what, what goes on. Um, typically, servo is used for controlling your elevation on your tank. Um, so you can use your stick, and as you go up, it'll keep the servo in place. But uh, servo is so multifunctional, it can do a wide variety of things. And this is uh, one thing that servo can do. You can buy servo to control a model railroad crossing gate. Okay. So uh, this is servo controlling a model railroad crossing gate. Um, not much to servo. We have an input port here, um, which you usually supply with uh, five volts power. Okay, I hope I've put that on right. No, I haven't connected it up. Okay, um, so we've got to connect the battery because a little light will go on, I think. Want to tell us? There we go, lights come on here. Okay, so connect power up to servo. Um, and then, of course, connect your servo. Okay, so power goes in that side, servo comes out the other side. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so power in, servo out. Now, um, typically on your tank, uh, you would have this would be from your receiver, so you'd have a signal going in there to control servo. But for this model railroad, um, it's also got a set of pins here that you can, various things can go on those pins. And here I'm going to trigger the model railroad with just a simple switch. Okay. Now you could have uh, a detector in there to um, detect your train as it comes along. Servo also has two outputs for LEDs and we have them driving the crossing gates as well. So train comes along manually but of course as I said you could have this set up to be automatic but um, as I said we're going to trigger it manually so train comes by lights will start flashing and down will come the crossing gate okay and you just wait there for a bit train goes past and flick the switch again and the crossing gate comes back up again train comes along Gate down and gate up. Now, there we go, and the lights are off. So that's um, servo used to, well, used to control a crossing gate on a model railroad.